Hey girl, so as promised, I'm going to Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret and I'm going to pass through the pink section to see what they have for the semi-annual sale. I said in my last video, sometimes your stores will have items that are not listed online for the sale because it's just what they have in stock, what they want to get rid of. So we're going to go and take a little trip and see what they have there. So stay tuned girl, let's go. <laughs> okay girl, so here I actually ended up going in through the pink section because I wanted to check out the body mist a couple of you guys told me to check them out and they had a lot of the bins for the bras but we're not here for the bras girl i went straight to the section this is the only part of like beauty that my pink store had and they pretty much just had body scrubs from the honey line and they had some body oils and some of the body mist which is pretty much this whole line and a little bit of candles so i smelled the body mist and girl, look at these damn candles. They're hella dusty. They have pelos on them. <laughs> but anyways, this is another scent they had. And they I did like this scent, that peach one. But they didn't have the matching um, set. So I didn't get it. But it's not that bad. They had more over here. They had um, different scents on this side. So pretty much, they just have different scents. But they have every single thing is identical. Um, and like I've said before, I don't know if you guys know, pink is not my favorite section from like to buy body care from. I literally on have only ever owned one or two products from them. And that's it. But yeah, so they had some of their line that they have all the time over here and they did tell me that they're getting rid of these like they're getting new packaging so that's why everything was on sale and they're just trying to get rid of it or something like that um i did take a whiff of the cocoa coffee one because you guys know i love coffee but i didn't like it <laughs> But then I just went over to the other side, which is Victoria's Secret. And in this section right here, they had a lot of the natural line. But they mainly had the almond blossom and oat milk. And that green aloe uh, hibiscus one. And they do smell really nice. You guys know that almond blossom is one of my all-time favorites. They had some of the body washes and the lotions. A lot of the lotions. So I'm assuming they're getting rid of this one. But also, girl, did you know that they have a skincare line? I didn't know that until I went to the store but yeah they have a couple of items for your skin like cleansing face masks and a bunch of other stuff i was shook i took a little video so you guys could see it just in case you didn't know and then there's me <laughs> but yeah i thought it was really nice but i would probably try it out if it like goes on sale <laughs> But anyways, on this side, they have some of this collection here. This one wasn't my favorite line, to be honest. Um, and they had some more on this side. I don't remember the name of this collection, but it's like that whole pastel color type of um, bottles. This one is really nice. If you go to the store, pick this one up. I really like the orange one. They had some of these as well. They had all of the new collections that had come out like super close to each other there. And they also had some of the bare... Which one was this line? Um, The golden. Sorry, I was like spacing out. The golden line was there too. So I'm pretty sure these... Well, yeah, all of these are just going to go. So this is like your last time if you want to get them. If you really like these, then go, girl. Because my store, at least mine, was super, super stocked up on all of these new collections. Um, to be honest, I was not, like, impressed with these collections. So I didn't end up picking up any of them. But I was super impressed that they had a lot in stock. So that's really nice. And if, if you live around here where I live, I live in Orange County. This is the South Coast Plaza Victoria's Secret in Costa Mesa. So just in case, I'm letting you know girl they're fully stocked so yeah like i said on this side the golden collection they had all of them um the only thing that i did notice is that they didn't have the lotions for those so that kind of sucks they have for some of them um and then on this side we have the perfumes which is what i mainly went for um this right here they had all the testers girl i didn't like any of them just a little heads up this one smelled really bad in my opinion and these I already own, so, you know, I love those. And also, look at here, girl. They have the Love Perfume in my store on sale. I don't know about other stores, but they, 
this one did have it and they don't have it online which there you go girl remember i told you some of them will have whatever stock in specifically in their stores and they'll put him on and i think they're getting rid of the love because online you can't find it you can't even find a regular price so i'm pretty sure it's going away just like the first love as well don't quote me but i'm pretty sure it's going away but yeah, so they had these. These are also things that they don't have online. They had a lot of stock of all of the perfumes in body mist form. And they also had the Love Lotion. And some of the Heavenly, uh, I believe these are like body butters. I think, I don't know, I couldn't read the label. But yeah, these things, like I said, they're not online. So they're in stores. So that's a little, so that's like neat. You know, you can uh, find a little bit more things in the store. They also had some candles and a lot of the body mist. So that's super nice that they have a really good stock. And these are the prices for the items as well. So that was it for Victoria. And then, girl, we went to the Bath and Body Works. And as soon as I walked in, I was like, um, where are the red labels? Where are the ducks? And they took everything off, girl. But they did have the new collection that's out already. Well, in stores. And they're so pretty, girl. Like, all these new packaging for Cactus Blossom. And these two, like, blue ones over here. They were so pretty. And this is one of the body mist that they have and these are the notes i just like showed some of them so you guys could see but personally i really like them and i adored the cactus blossom i will definitely get one of those um this one was really nice as well and they actually repackaged sensual amber so if you ever wanted that one it's out now in a new packaging but yeah i thought this whole collection is giving summer vibes and i'm here for it it's super gorgeous and then on this side, they had the other new releases, the Endless Sea. I was just appreciating this packaging because it so, it's so beautiful. I was just like so mesmerized by it. They have the perfumes, the body mist. They even have a hair mist, which is really nice. This is the body mist, super pretty. And then these are the notes. I really enjoyed this one and I think it's just so pretty. But yes, girl. And on the other side, they had the other new one, which is the Endless Sand. Same thing. They have all the same products, the scrubs, the moisturizing body washes, the hair mist, mousse, and little packages and stuff, hand sanitizers. I really enjoy this one as well. I think I will be picking it up once it goes on sale. But this is the packaging, and then the notes are in the back. So yeah, girl, let me know if you have smelled it already, if you went to the store to check it out. I would love to know your thoughts about it. So personally, I really wanted this video to be an SAS type of video. But girl, this is the only thing they had left of the sale. Like, girl, look, this little round thing, this is all they had. And it was mainly this blue um, body mist. I, forgot, I don't even know the name. Co cotton or coconut something this one i think nobody liked this one girl because it was everywhere and then they also had some of the fire crack pop or something the one i told you that smells like that one popsicle super like it's not nice but it's kind of weird how it makes you feel like you're tasting it but either way this is all they had i was not impressed and like i said look girl so many of those blue body mists nobody nadie los quería. <laughs> nobody wanted them because they're everywhere but yeah, girl, that, that was it. It was super disappointing, and I didn't find anything that I really wanted. Um, so yeah, I just thought I showed you, but yeah, it was it was a disappointment. And then I was also looking around, girl, and guess what? Yeah, the freaking um, Pure Wonder is not in store anymore, and Fairy Tale, they're gone. They took him away, girl. I was so sad. And I was like, OMG, no more Pure Wonder. And I didn't buy myself a backup. Well, I have a backup, but that's it because I don't want to be a hoarder anymore with like a bunch of backups. But dude, Pure Wonder is my girl and I can't believe she's gone forever, girl. Well, maybe they'll bring her back. I don't know. But yeah, it's gone. At least in my story, it was not there. Hey girls, so what did you guys think? I was so shook that they didn't put that bombshell 
in the SAS. There's never been a time where they come out with a seasonal like bombshell tease that they don't add to the SAS. That's why I always wait because I know that they're going to be put in there. Last year was the bombshell. Um, was it was the bombshell magic? I waited for the SAS. They added it, but this time they didn't, and I was so sad because I really wanted that one. But whatever. So they had a tiny little bit of a difference from online because online they also don't have love the perfume love on in my store it was for 24 or something dollars so i did end up taking back the fearless i actually ended up taking back two because the more i smelled the heavenly the more it reminded me of my jessica tour we glow it was just like a citrusy scent a floral citrusy scent and i was like why would i keep it if i already have something similar so i did take it back i wasn't planning on getting my money back i just wanted to exchange it for something else but unfortunately i didn't like any of the other scents the one that i thought i was going to really like is the so in love but i actually didn't like it it wasn't horrible but it just smelled like too floral for me there was nothing sweet in there it was just like a fresh bouquet of flowers and i didn't really like it and there was nothing else for me to trade because i already own all the other ones but i did end up exchanging one of them which is here and i'm going to show you what i got girl I ended up just exchanging one of them for the love perfume. I already have the first love and this one is just love. I absolutely adore their packaging. They remind me so much of the Jean Paul uh, perfumes because they come in like these little tin cans and stuff so let's open her up um i had never smelled this one before believe it or not so when i smelled it in the store and i saw that they had it um for sale for the sas part of the sas i was like let me just take it so here she is you open it and super cute i love these bottles as well see that it's just really pretty pastel pink at the top super cute this one the notes for this one are fresh juniper apricot blush and boyfriend tea whatever that means but it's just a really pretty soft it's you can definitely smell the the apricot it's like very fruity but soft i feel like all the notes in here are super soft it's a tiny bit soapy but like in a good way it's not like super sharp or anything i liked it enough that i wanted to bring it with me so i'm really happy with this exchange i really wanted to bring another one like i just wanted to exchange it because i wanted to have another perfume but there was nothing girl nothing that i liked that i wanted to bring back so i just ended up doing one and and then just returning the other one sadly now for bath and body works i had my indigo dreams that i wanted to exchange i didn't want my money back either girl i wanted to actually buy more stuff but they already got rid of all their sas items they only had that tiny ass little table and everything was the same it was mainly body mist they didn't even have lotions what i really wanted to do was grab like shower gels but they didn't have anything and i wanted to get the pastel skies but i wanted the matching body lotion and they didn't have it all they had was the body mist so i was like i'm not gonna take just the body mist so i ended up just um returning it sadly there was nothing else i can get but i did end up i had a little coupon and i got one of the new uh mist the endless sea but i did get the mini travel size for free this is the hand cream and i was like let me just get it so that i I can uh, test it out and see what i think about it like at home when i'm not overwhelmed but for this one somebody tell me if they recognize recognize this scent because i feel like it smells like something we've smelled before and pinpoint what i'm smelling here but it's so familiar but it does smell super fresh and just like summer vibes for sure but for what i did smell they don't smell bad i think they're very nice i feel like this new line of all these blue stuff all these blue bottles like they smell really pretty and i would for sure get them because you guys know that i love watery based beachy type of scent so i think i'll pick them up once we get another sale i really was just like bummed because i had my extra 20 percent off and i was just like oh girl i'm gonna get a bunch of stuff but as soon as i walked in i was like where's the freaking sale table it was gone we just had that tiny little table but oh well i'm happy with my little victoria's secret perfume and that's about it girl that's all there was 
nothing very exciting but i'm just happy with the perfumes i got from victoria's secret and everything but anyways i hope you girls enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video